wish we could have played better and made it a, even a better day. Uh, kudos to St. Joe's. They played well. They did what they needed to do. And, uh, we, got, we got some work to do for us. And, you know, we'll hard to start. Learn. It's hard to start down to a low. It was. It was. However, that's what we, we need to do a better job of running offense, getting better shots. Um, I mean, our defense was not nearly as good as it needed to be. Especially early, we were a little better in the second half. The guards, the guards are pretty good players. They did a really nice job. Uh, Reynolds made some tough shots. Uh, Lindbergh was very good offensively yeah. in the first half, and yeah. he, he did what he needed to do. So uh, they played well. They did what they needed to do. And, uh, Cameron Brown did some good things. They, they all did. Every one of them played well. It's kind of important for you to get Brantley. Going yeah, for you guys to be who you can be. He, uh, you know, he's he tries so hard. He wants to make every play uh, the best he could possibly make it. So I'm, I'm proud of him for that. He just needs to let the game come to him a little bit more. Sure. And that's what happened. We got it down in single digits toward the end. I mean, it yeah, was we did. And then there was that one possession that was just crazy. Yeah, where nobody could know where the ball was. <laughs> we threw it away twice. I think they threw it away once, at least maybe twice. And, uh, yeah, so we we got again we got work to do and, and uh, we, got, we got to be ready to go for St. Louis on Saturday. It was a really good team at their place. So the be, kids were still trying to apply pressure at the end. Yeah, I mean they, they don't know that nobody's going to quit certainly, but right, we right. got to we got to be smarter uh, when the time is. Is this the biggest crowd in the year? I assume so, Ruba. I didn't, I didn't think too much about it. It's, uh, you know, yeah. yeah, it was a good day that way. You know. uh, I think this is the third game in a row where you guys have fallen down um, behind early and trailed at halftime. What adjustments do you think the team needs to make? To you know, we got to run better offense early. Uh, and really take good care of the ball. We had seven turnovers in the first half and only three of them in the second half. But those seven turnovers, I thought a number of them happened early. And just, you know, in my mind, when you run poor offense, it leads to poor defense because everybody's kind of you know, fractured on the other end. So we, we need to take care of our offensive play as, as much as they shot it so well in the first half. Uh, you know, again, we were a little better in the second half, but not nearly enough. Fred, how much of that is just wanting to give the players freedom to play? But then you need to also have the structure that they're not doing too much one on one. Yeah, I mean, that, you, you, you can't be trying to do it yourself. We're, we're just a bunch of good guys, good players, but, but nobody's going to just carry the game, put it on their back, and, and make sure that we, you know, we get a victory. We, we need to share the ball as, as well as we possibly can. So I, I like your question. It's, it's appropriate, and it's, uh, you know, we do need to share the ball better. And, and when you do, it's coming back to you. In, in many ways, with everybody else will be uh, a better scorer, and, and you'll be even more open once you once you get it back again. Right. What have you, in the games you won? Has that been a problem? Theme? Share it all. Yeah. I mean, so today we had one double figure score. I thought Fusini was terrific today. But right. He didn't do much wrong out there. Uh, yeah. So they have three double figure scorers and another guy with nine. Nine. We have one twenty four, and we got nobody else sniffing double figures. So it's a uh, Bad formula. And, uh, so it was, uh, it was a, a good lesson for us to learn, and we'll do what we always do. We'll, we'll get together, on, uh, we're off tomorrow. We'll get together on, uh, on Wednesday and we'll watch every bounce of this because we'll learn from each position. Well, the league is so fluid, it looks like games can go. Well, it depends who shows up at a given night. I would, I would agree. It's really a good league. There's some really talented kids, some very good coaches, some terrific programs, and so. And so we got a long way to go. We got a lot of work to do. We got a long way to go. But when that starts to happen, the offense, the ball movement isn't where you want. What do you sense your players are, are pressing to do too much, and, and who can be the guy that helps calm everything down? Well, it's always the guards in my mind who <coughs> should be running the show. And, and Brickus did a pretty good job at, uh, in in many ways. Uh, he can play better, but he had that one jumper in the corner that I, I think if that went down, I think we were maybe. A, a six or seven point game, yeah. I'm not sure. That would have been a, a huge play. Just didn't go, but I think we did get a rebound on it. Uh, we've seen that got a rebound and got a foul. But that would have been a big play. But 
Jig, Jig has got a, a real good feel for the game, and, and he's probably the guy that can settle this the best. All right, thanks. Appreciate it.